Good morning. So today we are actually going to be filming a very highly requested video. I'm filming with Ab. Abby and I are going to be finally filming a Q&A all about like everything to do with modeling, how she got started, how it all works. We get so many questions so often and so I just wanted to do a full sit down video kind of addressing it all, answering all the questions that we got over on Instagram. So are you ready? Me too. So the very first one is how did you get started in modeling? Do you remember how you got started? Do you remember who was in Target before you and we went and met them in New York? It's your bestie girlfriend. Finley. Finley. So you might already follow or know of Fifi and Mel, which is Finley Smallwood. We absolutely adore them. We consider them, you know, very good friends from across the world. We actually met up with them in New York when Finley was modeling for Target. And we met them at the airport, took them to their hotel, stayed with them there. Christina is amazing. And she went ahead and gave me the information for Stellar NYC, which is the modeling agency that Abby is currently signed to. So I reached out to them and I was like, hey, you know, I have a daughter. We're even closer to New York than Finley is because they were coming from California to shoot with Target. It's a New York City based agency that we're signed with. So typically talent is local or willing to travel. Stellar got back to us and actually had a job for us the next week. Answering another question is what was Abby's first job? Her first job ever was actually a TV commercial for a children's hospital. I am. I love you. you you're beautiful. Abby is the kindest human literally ever. We tried to film a reel today. We were filming it. It's like, what are you most proud of? And I like put the spoon over to her so that she could like say myself like we'd practice and she immediately just points to me. And oh my goodness, my heart exploded. You're so yeah, you Yes. Like that. Yeah, and it was so funny and so sweet and she's just like literally the kindest human being in the world. So I uh, yeah. You love what? You love filming? I love questions. You love questions? We can film questions whenever you want. I'm sure there's plenty of questions for us to answer. The next one is, are there any physically difficult parts of modeling that Abby struggles with? Uh, is there anything hard about modeling, do you think? I'm always very hands-on with her. I'm helping her physically change her outfits, which, which most of the parents actually don't help do. Even though she could do it by herself, it's easier if I'm helping her, especially if she has any sort of like buttons. That's something that's helpful is that I'm, you know, I'm really physically helping at every point of her shoot, as well as like during her actual shoot, if they're changing lenses, changing backgrounds, um, changing hair, doing anything where she has a pause, I will always run up on set and put my knee out and have Abby sit down on my knee or if they have like a box close by, they'll bring a box over for her to sit down on. She is also really efficient and really quick when she shoots. Everyone's always so impressed with her because she just gets up there, she shines so bright, her personality comes out immediately. It doesn't take much for her to smile and so we get in and out of shoots pretty quickly. She's always super comfortable and happy and like sometimes she'll be tired after a long day, but all of the models kind of get tired after a long day. So yeah, nothing really physically demanding, no. We also will not work on a set that is not accessible, and our agent is very good at making sure that we never get sent to a set or a studio that is not accessible for Abby. This one says, any tips if you've got them, make sure it's something that they want to do, not just you want them to do, because um, I feel like that really shines through during the shoots and things. Mm. If they're enjoying it, then I feel like it comes more naturally. Is the career demand challenging on your family? No. My husband, Matthew, Abby's dad, actually got to leave his job. He used to work a job that was like 60 to 70 hours a week. That was very demanding. And so now that kind of- he Now he works here. I know, it's amazing. But now that he's home and he can help out with the kids at home when Abby and I are shooting, or he can come with us for shoots sometimes. Yeah and things like that, it's a lot easier. But when he was working full time, it is a full time job to like travel back and forth to New York City and to get to all these shoots and childcare for the other kids if they're not involved in the shoots or they can't come. But I do feel like the busier that we get with shoots, it would have been more and more challenging with Matthew working so many hours. What is the best part of modeling, both as the parent and as a model slash kid? So what's your favorite part of modeling? Up 
I don't think we can say what you dressed up as. There will be an ad coming out. Sometimes Abby gets to dress up in really cool costumes for yeah. maybe a Halloween shoot that's coming up. Not to speak for you, but I think that another one of your favorite parts is like all your friends that you get to meet. And then I think as a parent, my favorite part is just like watching her and watching how proud of herself she is. I think that I do get more excited about seeing her ads in stores than Abby does because she already knows what the photos look like. She has a lot more fun in the moment, like actually modeling for them and to see them in stores. She always walks in and says that she's a little bit shy, like at everybody looking at her, but also like really happy not going at the same time. So uh, do you see that fly? Fly. I know. In my nose. It ran into your nose? Does it ever get overwhelming for you or for her coming from a super anxious mama over here? I don't feel like I've ever really been overwhelmed. Have you ever been overwhelmed on set? <laughs> you get nervous. Yeah, I don't really think we get overwhelmed on sets at all. Everything's really organized on the sets that we've been in. Actually, there was one time where we were shooting with a different photographer, a different kid wrangler, which is like literally a person that's hired to yeah. entertain the kids and help make them smile and kind of give them instructions on what to do for the photos and everything like that. That was kind of overwhelming because they just didn't know Abby as well as the other photographers who we've worked with. And I think I got a little overwhelmed by that, but Abby was just like really excited and in the moment, I don't think she felt overwhelmed, but I'm sure if we went back and shot with them again, they would know her then because they've already shot with her. So it would be a little less overwhelming then. Time schedule on a shoot and time she doesn't want to go, how do you handle that? So the first thing, time schedule on a shoot. So so we usually get a call time sometimes like two days before sometimes one day before usually we don't have very much notice than that and so that's one of the reasons why being so flexible and my job of doing social media and you know managing Abby and everything um, that makes it helpful because that's kind of how the schedules work and time she doesn't want to go how to handle that this kind of goes back to one of the questions that I had earlier Abby gets really excited to go to shoots and so we've never ever encountered a time where I told Abby hey we have this photo shoot to go to where she hasn't been like really excited to go if there was ever a time where Abby did not want to go I would absolutely listen to her and I would you know let her advocate for herself because that's so out of character for her because she wants to be modeling she wants to be going to these photo shoots she gets really excited about driving to New York. I would definitely listen to her and see if maybe she wasn't feeling good or if she was tired or what's going on. You know, we're doing this because she loves doing it. And so ultimately, if there's ever comes a day that she doesn't love doing it, then we just won't do it anymore. And, you know, that's okay. And she knows that's okay. Ooh, which brand has been Abby's favorite to work with? What's your favorite place to model for? Target. Target? I think that's probably one of my favorites too, but everybody who we've worked with has been amazing and they've all been our favorites. I do have a few things that aren't specific questions that were asked, but I know that people are curious about them or I've gotten them like DM to us or commented on different things. And the first one is how does Abby get paid for modeling? I think that in New York City, it's like there's a percentage that has to go into the Child's Trust Fund and then the rest can be distributed in other ways. For us specifically, every single penny that Abby has has ever made modeling um, is in that trust fund and will stay in that trust fund for her. Um, then when she's 18, it will all be for her and she will have a beautiful savings account to start off her life. I am 18. You are not 18. You act 18, but you are not 18. We, as her parents, do make the decision to deposit 100% of her modeling income into that account. Most of our jobs are in New York City, and anytime they're in New York City, typically travel is not covered. So we pay out of pocket for all of the travel back and forth, the tolls, the parking, which is parking's a lot. Tolls are also a lot. We need to stay in the city. That's usually out of our pocket. And so that's something to take into account, as well as like the flexibility. We usually figure out what days we need to be in New York the day before a week starts or maybe a couple days before we need to be there so that's another reason why being local is super important it's definitely a commitment and there's a huge payoff obviously I mean it's it's amazing just to have her in stores so I think that sums up everything that we're going to talk about in this video if you have any other questions feel free to leave them below or comment them over on Instagram and we'll definitely do more of these because Abby had a lot of fun answering some questions so thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we will see you in our next vlog right Right, Bye. Bye. Bye.